Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Keith from Heavy Mental Art and I'm an artist from Sydney, Australia. And today in this video, I just wanted to go through my process of making some fan art poster designs for some of my favorite bands. The first poster design I'm working on is for Blink-182. They're doing some concerts in Sydney next week. So I'm just getting the quick sketch of an idea that I had in mind down in Photoshop. So for the concept phase, I'm just roughing in some lines and colors and text of the idea that I had. So once I get the sketch done, I then bring that over into Procreate on my iPad. To get started on the line work, I love using Procreate for the line work phase. You can get some nice clean lines in Procreate. For my line work, I'm just using a simple line work brush that I, which was part of a brush set that I brought online. It would be a dream of mine one day to make some official band merch for some of my favorite bands. I think the last time they toured Australia was 2013. So I'm excited to see them finally after growing up listening to them for so long. Here is a sped up video of the line work phase in Procreate. Doing line work is one of my favorite things about making art. It can be calming and therapeutic at times. Once I get the line work done, then I add in some base colors. So I'm just getting the main design done in Procreate. And then once I bring that into Photoshop, then I, I do the background and all the text. So the idea for this design was a rabbit's face being covered by the Blink-182 smiley face that's been used in other posters and even album covers in the past and to give it that fun punk vibe. So here is the finished poster design. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I spent about 7 to 10 hours creating this. So I went with a pink, yellow and blue color scheme. I also added some simple illustrations in white around the design to give it that punk vibe. I hope you liked me going through my process of making the first design. Now on to the second one. The second design is for Queens of the Stone Age. They have a concert in Sydney a few days after Blink-182's concert. This would be the second time seeing them. I saw them play, I think it was 2017, the last time they played in Sydney. It was such an awesome live show, I can't wait to see them again. So I'm just sketching the basic idea for the concept in Photoshop to start out with. The concept for this design was a greaser looking character in a leather jacket with slick back hair, smoking without a care in the world while the city in the background is burning. I thought it would fit with the theme of their music, that devil may care attitude. So I'm just roughing in the basic idea for the skeleton. In the sketching phase, I don't focus too much on the details. I add those in, in the line work phase. A lot of times the design can change quite a bit. You know, I'm just sketching in the leather jacket in a different color. It kind of helps with uh, separating each part of the design, makes it easier. Once I get the basic idea down, I usually recolor all the sketch into one color. Music has always been a big part of my life, the same way art has. And I love seeing live concerts and live music. I've been to quite a few different concerts for some of my favorite bands. Once I'm finished with my digital sketch, I bring that into Procreate, lower the opacity by at least 30 to 40% and then get started on the line work. I use both Procreate and Photoshop to do the line work. I find that Procreate is a lot easier and more simple to use at times. The line work phase is where I start to add a bit more detail to the design and also change certain things I didn't like about the digital sketch. I love using Procreate to make art. I've used it for a number of years to create a lot of my art pieces. There can be a bit of a learning curve when you first start using it. But once you get the hang of it, it's a great program for any digital artist. It's also a great investment for artists just starting out. Music has always been a big influence on my art. I listen to quite a big range of different music styles, but rock and heavy metal have always been some of my favorite music to listen to, especially while drawing. I find that listening to music while drawing 
helps a lot to keep focused. It helps to get you into that meditative flow state. Here is the sped up video of the inking and coloring process in Procreate. So once I'm done with the line work phase, I move on to adding the base colors. Once I'm finished adding the base colors and some details in Procreate, I then export the Procreate file as a Photoshop document and open that into Photoshop, then get started on adding more details and textures and finalizing the design. I also like to change the color of the line work so it's not fully black. I think it helps to soften the image a bit and helps it to blend in with the other colors. I usually try and work within a limited color scheme between three to six colors. If I find different shades of the same color that would work together with other colors. I try and have a contrast between the different colors used. I feel like if you use too many colors in an artwork, the design can get messy and everything can get lost in the color. Also for some of the colors that I use, like red for example, I like to add a bit of pink or purple, so it's not full red, it's a bit of a mix of colors. I get a lot of people saying they like my use of color. A lot of it's just experimenting and seeing what fits and what doesn't. This is more of a simple design, but a lot of my artworks can take me between 15 to 30 hours to finish. I spend a bit of time on the coloring phase, so the colors work well together and everything fits. Just adding in some highlights of where I would imagine that the light from the burning city in the background is coming from. Here are both of the poster designs side by side. I'm really happy with how these have came out. Both designs for two completely different bands and, and music styles. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more art like this. I really enjoy going through my process and my thoughts of creating art and I really hope you enjoy watching the process and me talking about it as well. Hopefully you get something out of it to help you to create art. Thanks again for watching, keep on creating and I'll see you in the next video.